So I wanted to talk about my grow station setup that I have in the garage and how much I have spent on it so that if anybody wants to get a head start on spring or if they want to start seeds indoors where they can keep um, a more controlled environment and ensure um, ensure growth. Uh, I just want to let you know what I have set up and how much I've spent on it so you know that it's not necessarily that deep of an investment to get started. So what I've got here is just this three foot rack um, and I think I spent maybe 20 bucks on this and you can probably find some that are cheaper and this this is just a shop light that I got from Walmart and I did eventually find the limitations of this because I only got one and it's only I think um, 2700 uh, brightness I later upgraded this and that light was about 15 bucks. Um, these lights here I got as a four pack, these LEDs that f ended up fitting my rack perfectly and I can customize them um, with all their uh, modular plugs. They're meant for cabinets, um, under cabinets and stuff. That was about 40 bucks for four of them. And these are um, 3,000 uh, Kelvin. Um, but you don't need, you could start with one light. You don't need to be growing all sorts of stuff if you don't want to. You could just start small and once you figure out what you're doing, you can start upgrading um, like I have. Um, and I also have these bottom watering tray setups um, to keep a consistent uh, moisture level for these and it's it's a little bit better to bottom water because um, the plants will only take up what they're using and you won't be just coming along and just indiscriminately watering everything and the other thing is when they're small they're sensitive so if you're coming along and watering very harshly um, then it could damage them so what I'm using to water is just this little attachment to a bottle that has a little uh, like that it's a uh, a gentler approach than just like if I took this off and was just like dumping water all over it. Um, and I only do that when it's really obvious that it's needed. I am moving over to the bottom watering um, way of doing this. And the other thing is if you're um, just splashing water all over them, you can spread uh, disease that way. Like if you're splashing the soil up onto the plant, that can get them sick. Um, one thing to note with these setups is if you're doing it on the, the more affordable side, these lights will not be um, the same brightness or the same full spectrum that the sun is. So at some point, these will have to go outside. So what you can do is um, start to harden them off. You can take them outside for a few hours a day to get them used to the wind and the harshness of the sun um, to get them adapted to their eventual home. Um, and you can gradually adapt them to the outdoors. Um, another thing that you should keep in mind when you're starting seeds in a station like this 
is since they're not exposed to the wind and the elements out, like they are outdoors, you can come along and kind of, um, like I'm doing here, is kind of disturb them a little bit. And that's going to simulate uh, the wind. So they will respond to that and grow stronger stems. Because if you just put them outside and they haven't had, if they even make it to the point where they'll need to go outside, then they might not be strong enough and they'll just fall over because they start experiencing wind for the first time and they just don't have strong enough stems. So what, what I'm doing here is kind of toughening them up by bending them a little bit. And you can uh, simulate this by even putting a fan in your grow station to create an artificial wind, and that can help a lot. And so one thing I've done to save more on cost with this is these trays are not really trays. These are uh, just Tupperware, and these are lids for um, containers, like bins. Um, and each one is each one's different because they're all from different bins. Um, but they make perfect trays. So yeah, this is uh, just what I've got going on in my haphazard um, seed station. I hope that helps some people get started. Yeah.